this series, me and my friends obtain a Jeff the Killer unsolved murder it's case. Jeff the Killer's fleet. But things go terribly wrong when Jeff the Killer arrives and wants all of the evidence destroyed. Now it's up to us to find evidence that he is the murderer before it's too late. Oh my god! You, 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 you have me. Ah. Two years ago, a house was mysteriously burnt to the ground, the owner missing, and his neighbor found dead. Now, the suspect was never caught, but according to the evidence, the biggest suspect is Jeff the Killer. <laughs> but the police consider him a legend, and with no hard evidence of him existing, the case was dismissed. Now, one of the rookie detectives who believed that it was actually Jeff the Killer came into contact with me and wants me to look through the case Find evidence that it's actually Jeff the Killer that did all of this so that a warrant can be issued and Jeff the Killer could finally be arrested. Okay, it should be here now. Okay. Wait, bro, where is so Here it is. Whoa. It's kind of, kind of huge. It's a pretty decent container so let's just yeah, get it wait is it heavy oh it man is, oh yeah it's pretty heavy there's a lot of stuff in there huh yeah what kind of evidence do you think is going to be in there who knows he didn't tell me anything really about it other than the fact that it's up to us to prove that it's actually jeff the killer behind this check it out jesse wait what? It's pretty huge, right? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have so much information. I, I know. know. Let's uh, bring it over here. Now, I do have gloves for us. This is super important. And mm -hmm. oh my god. Gotta be safe. <laughs> Look at them. I got. They I think I got a size uh, a little too small. Honestly, it literally says size small. So it's yeah, not surprising. you you did. All right. So I'm gonna have no fun during this thing. Nick's been knocking it for 10 minutes. <laughs> the whole thing falls down. Or right, let's get this open and. Ooh. Look at that. Nice. We have some crime scene pictures, homicide reports. Okay. Pictures. Look at all this stuff. And actual bags. Dang. Evidence bags. Look at that. What? What? Sweater of suspect that survived. Fire. Whoa. Whoa! There's like actual hey. evidence! Like, yeah, like what? real police, like okay. legit stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff here. We're gonna go through it all, get it all on the table, and sort it out. Alright, so we have everything laid down on the table, and there's some really interesting stuff it here. Looks very enticing. I don't know where to begin. These like evidence bags are the real deal. Yeah, like a, a bunch of evidence bags, something that says homicide report, there's some pictures, and honestly, I think we should start with that one because, okay. I don't know, something about the red is like freaking me out Okay, a little, sure, sure. So. I guess we can go kind of pan through it quickly, but I was gonna say, these bags look very nice. We don't know what's inside, right? So it could be anything. Anything. So the first thing I saw was these pictures. And if I were to guess, these are crime scene pictures because you could see the oh the, the yellow numbers. tabs, yep. right? There's like a blood splatter with Ooh. some object. Now I will say the crime scene was completely set ablaze and the fire department just barely saved the building from burning all the way down to the ground. So I'm sure not as much evidence actually made it out of the fire True. as True. we would have liked. So let's take a look. There's another picture of I think the same blood splatter yeah oh that's way worse right this looks like a like a body being dragged yeah, away or yeah, something it right like it's, you know it's been sitting there for a bit oh my god Ugh. and we have footprints oh so okay. this is the type of evidence we're looking for if we could figure out which shoes Jeff the Killer wears we might be able to pair it to the same exact footprints which could incriminate him and prove that he's actually real and get him thrown in jail. If it's of course him. Of course. And then the last picture is what looks to be an actual murder weapon. It's like a Whoa. stick and it's filled with blood. Okay, well, I'm reading this homicide report. Just this tab on here says, this report is for the neighbor of missing person. 
We believe it is somehow related to this appearance. Okay, so like we said in the beginning, one person went missing and then that person's neighbor was actually killed. So they think that it might be related, but there's yep. no way to know for sure. Yeah, so this autopsy report and there's a supplementary homicide report. So these two are probably the victim. Um, from what I can see here, uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so noted on this autopsy report is that there was a heavy cut to the throat. Okay, so like, that would be strange considering the weapon we saw there doesn't really look like a knife. Yeah, and this is like a like a wooden piece, more like a blunt force. Yeah, kind of like weapon. a bat or something. So maybe he ended up killing one person with this piece of wood and then dealt with the neighbor with a knife, which I see. is way more of Jeff the Killer's MO. Yeah, for sure. And it says probable cause of death, defense against knife attacker. Makes sense. So on this, nothing really interesting. It does say at the bottom here, attacker broke into house and attacked the owner to death with knife. Okay. One person was for sure killed with the knife, and then the other one, like we said, is missing. I think there is like one of these bags have it does say on him, right? Maybe there's one with a knife or something in it. Let's yeah, let's see. Um, oh, Jesse, right here. What? Look, this one says murder weapon, positive fingerprints, but, but did not, not match any suspects. Huh. Let's see what it is. If it's... Be careful in case it's anything you know, sharper. I don't know, that's weird. So it doesn't match any suspects. And it makes sense because if they had Jeff the Killer's fingerprints on file, then they would be able to arrest him. But they don't. But it's, they it's don't. Jeff the Killer. Okay, I see. Okay. Oh. This is a That's knife, right. and I'm only touching it with one hand because I only yeah, have yeah. this glove on. And it did say that there was positive fingerprints on it, but mm. they don't have Jeff the Killer's fingerprints on file. So this is another very valuable piece of evidence. And if we're able to somehow get Jeff the Killer's fingerprints, we could. We can tie it to the knife and then charge him for the murder of these two people. Um, what is this? Oh, journal of missing victim. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, how do we? Yeah, you might. There we go. Yeah, just rip it open. Okay. Oh, there are notes, so I gotta be careful. And it's. Oh, it seems to be like. Charred or yeah, something. It smells like it was. I gotta be careful. It's like burnt leather smell. Oh yeah, look, the whole book's burnt. That must okay. have been recovered in the fire. Yeah. Okay. So the piece of evidence that the flames couldn't destroy completely, and I guess Ooh. we're pretty lucky. Well, that, that is. Survived. I don't know, Nick. As I was like, I'm looking around here, all the pages seem to be black. So let's see. Um. Yeah. I don't even know where the front page of this thing is, but yeah, it's completely we'll destroyed. Oh. Okay. So there's just a bunch of like. Like regular, just diary, like journal things, in a way. right? And oh, wait a minute. Okay, we've got something here. What There's some tasks. Is this relevant? Relevant to case. Okay. Oh, so it's telling us which pages that are useful. Are okay. useful. So May twelfth. Today I saw something strange. A man with blank long hair and white bloody covered sweater. He stared right at me, and I ran away as fast as I could. No matter how fast I ran, I felt like he was following me at all times. I could hear him running behind me, but every time I turned around, he just wasn't there. Okay, so it said long black hair and a bloody sweater. We all know who that is. Right. Jeff the Killer. And it's so strange that he noted this in his journal and yet still wasn't able to be enough evidence to prove that like this person is real, right? Yeah, I guess. But if you're thinking about like urban legends and stuff, it's understandable that some people may have these fears already mm -hmm. engraved in them and they think right away, oh, well, this could be this person, right? True, very, very true. So the next journal entry is uh, May 17th. So a few days after he saw mm. Jeff the killer, I do not think I am safe. Whoever that was that I saw the other day he has been following. I made a report to the police, but they do not seem to be taking me seriously. I have pictures of this man following me. Pictures, okay, Wait, hopefully okay. they're in here. But even they were dismissed. One of the rookie officers pulled me to the side and told me he knew who was in these pictures. But as far as the other officers are concerned, he is just a legend and nobody is going to believe me. So 
I'm guessing that this officer is the same officer that sent us all of this. He's yeah. the one that believed him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I found this right here when I was looking through it, um, and it said pictures taken by victims. So I'm wondering okay, if yeah, let's these put are this actually down. it, right? Um, it's so cool, too. I just noticed it's like, for crime lab personnel only. And look at us. Here we are. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Okay. So we'll start with the beginning. You see the lights? I swear that he's just It looks so much like him, and he's hiding. We've got one picture of him standing by a tree. Another one that's standing and peeking behind a vehicle. And, I mean, these pictures are Ooh. pretty not the great quality, no, so... No, 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 Look. Except for this one. Look that's at this literal clear picture. And look at his face. This is clearly Jeff the Killer here. Um, wait a minute. Look. He's even closer here. He's getting closer? Okay, there is no doubt about this, that this person that he saw was Jeff the Killer. Yeah. Now, the police had all of this in evidence and yet still all dismissed. So I'm just curious to think what they thought was going on. Did they think that maybe he was just making all of this up and had his friend in like a costume That's what or it something? kind of feels like. Well, there's another journal entry back here that we're gonna look through. It's on this tab. And we're gonna see exactly what happened after he spoke to the police. So this is June 10th, so a few weeks after, yeah, right? Yeah. I decided to move to a new area outside of town. It is a small country area, and I only have one neighbor. He seems nice. He asked me why I moved and decided to lie for my own safety. The less people who know, the better. This is the, this is the neighbor that we're all thinking of. Right, it has to be the neighbor that was killed. Whoa, okay. June 12th, two days after, I get a strange letter in the mail today. I opened it and it was a phone. All of a sudden it started ringing and it was him. How did he find me? What, wait, what? He taunted and threatened me on the phone. I need to get out of here. Dude, Jesus, how did he find him? Bro, he probably just followed him from the start. Probably at night, watching him leave, did whatever he could to get closer and closer. This was the last journal entry. There's no more after this. Wait, he mentioned a letter. Or, or a phone. Yeah, a phone. Let's see if there's, if it's here. What is this? That's recorded. Please call, no. This letter delivered by suspect. That's this is one. it, okay. That's the one. Let's get okay. this open. Okay, and whoa, here's the letter, but it's there's no fire. phone. It just says answer, answer me. me. Oh, there's not even. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, it's a, a memory card. What does the bag say? Letter delivered by suspect to victim. Phone was damaged in fire, but data recovered in memory card. I'm gonna put this in my laptop and see if it runs, and maybe there's some more information about exactly what's going on. Okay, so the memory card fit in my laptop and there was one audio file on it. And the audio file was named, A Call From Jeff. Whoa. So, I'm gonna play it out and we're gonna hear exactly what Jeff the Killer had to say. Good, good, good. Don't 
knows that he just like can't be stopped That's not even afraid of police which is why we need to be the ones that stop him okay that was uh very weird pretty intense for somebody to like deliver them a phone just to torment them like that's just yeah. the kind of sick thing that jeff the killer enjoys doing to his unfortunate what's victims. strange is the fact that he was able to talk mm-hmm and call immediately after it was opened. Like, right? how would he have known? He right? must have been, like, looking somehow, right? Lurking. He's just exactly lurking. Well, we've got other evidence, so I think we should probably head through these first. Okay. Um, so, police report of incident taken a week before victim went missing. Oh! The journal, he talked to police, and the police didn't believe him, yes. right? Okay, and then he moved. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, let's see what the, uh... What is possibly the, the officers had to say. What is it? So, it's just, like... Oh, yeah, his notepad, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised this even made it into evidence since they dismissed literally everything, right? Cool. Okay, so let me just rip this out. This is when he came, took notes, and... So this is one of the cops that probably didn't believe the story, right? Well, let's see. So it's all just point form, just like jotted down. Um, victim claims to be followed by someone. Saw a man, Whoa. long black hair, bloody hoodie. Yeah. Uh, two days later, the person is still being followed. He didn't take, like, that good of, like, notes. No. Uh, took pictures of, st and he put stalker in quotations. Uh, seems to be pictures of a popular legend. I think this person is faking it for some sort of media attention. So that was the initial report. The police just do not believe that Jeff the Killer is stalking this person. And eventually led to his... That's true. Demise. Well, this is the biggest bag that we yeah. have, and it's a sweater of suspect that survived fire and homicide missing unknown. Do you want to uh, crack this guy sure. open? Sure. I'm more thinking. So the sweater, the person that was on the fire, is that the neighbor? Or is that the person that would be inside? I don't know. Maybe it's just... Ooh. Wait. Look at this. No way! It's Jeff the Killer's hoodie. It's look, the hoodie, and look, and it's, it's but a shirt. Hard. So I'm wondering, maybe uh, he got into an altercation and had to take his hoodie off, and it got caught in the fire. Oh, maybe. But they were able to salvage like most of it, I guess. But what if he was taken to the fire? It's also a possibility, right? They would have had more evidence. I don't know. That just makes no sense, right? Okay, let's put this on the side. Like, there's that no way they found the sweater and still do not believe this person. That's crazy. Yeah, that is really, really weird. And now I guess we're on to the very last piece of evidence. Hopefully, this is something that could actually help us because if it's not, we have a lot and a lot of work to do. Yeah. Let's get this open. So it's a CD? It says, recorded police call, oh. and in brackets, of victim. So the neighbor. I see. And you're right, it is a CD, which is honestly some of the most primitive uh, yeah. technologies we've seen. Uh, and this still old fashioned. Yeah, but honestly, I'm pretty sure my MacBook can play this. I might have a CD drive in it. Let's go and check okay. it out. All right, this is the absolute last thing. And it's a CD of some 911 call. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's play it out. Yep. Hello, I'm just here to report a break-in. Report a break-in. Yeah, it's the neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Call, right? I, uh, it's not looking like this is a friendly visit. Okay. They need to send me this. Well, they gotta ask questions first. Ah, that's true. Okay, he asked him to describe the perpetrator. 
He's not there anymore. What? Wait. This is... The this, neighbors this is being happening right now. Jeff. This is happening right now. So there was more insight in the police call. Right? And almost like live proof. Like he was literally attacked on the call. On how the call? Is that not enough? Right? And then I don't know how long it took for the, the police to get there, but you would think that they would have caught Jeff before all of this yeah. even happened. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. What? What? Getting called? Yeah, one sec, one sec. Dude, wait. That, 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 dude, that is the strangest thing, oh, right? man. That make and they somehow still don't believe it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Slow down, slow down. Wait. What? What's he doing? Come on, here. How does this happen? Okay, okay, just wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Say it again. I'm, I'm gonna put you on speaker. It's, it's the detective that gave us all the stuff. I'm so sorry. What? So, what's he talking about? My address? Wait, 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 wait. Just start from the beginning. What what happened? Are you are you okay? What who did you give us the address to? Wait, okay. He beat you up. I'm not understanding. Who? Who, Who? Is, Who is are you talking about? He's on his way. Who? Who's on his way? Not making any sense. Wait. What? How did what? he find? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh, he's on his way right now. How long do we have? What? What? And he, bro. He, he, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um. I don't know. Let's let's hide though. Okay. 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 Oh, down. Oh, jeez. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me check the security cameras around the house and make sure that we are locked down. Okay. Back seems clear and... Wait. What? Jesse, look. What is it? This is the front security camera. You see? There's somebody walking. Oh, no. Wait a minute. He's coming up to our house. That looks like him, right? Look. It does. Dude. Oh, it's Jeff the Killer. He's here! <laughs>